Hey friends, let's go ahead and look at how to take a piece of coil stock and bend it into a profile using a brake. All right, folks, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what you want that profile to look like and what your measurements are. I will have a four inch, then a 12 inch, then a one inch. So it's gonna go up one inch, over 12 inches, and up four inches. So it's gonna be kind of a stair step. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna plan that out, how it's gonna go. So it's going to have a one inch, then a 12 inch, and then a four inch. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark that out on my piece. I'm gonna have a one inch, And from there, I need a 12 inch, and so I'm just gonna measure out 13. Thirteen, and then I should be left with a four. Yep, it's four. That's four, great, okay. So now I have all my marks on here. Now I need to plan out how I'm going to bend this. How is this going to bend? So I need this one to go down and this one to go up. So if I want this to go down, I'm gonna need to turn that around. But my marks are on this side, so it really doesn't matter, I can flip it. I need to make sure my marks are right here on this edge. Then I'm going to tighten it down somewhat, get it somewhat tight, and then fine tune it where I want it. And then really snug it down, so snug. Okay, now I'm ready to bend that up. I'm gonna take my Break, bend it up, and I like giving it a little bit extra. So now I have an L, I have a 90 degree. I'm ready to take that apart. Now this is a really old break, so not all breaks are like this. So now I have this piece I have that going down. Now I want this four inch to come up. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna stick it in like this. I'm gonna flip it around. And so now I'll need to have four inch on this side and my marks over here. So I'm gonna transfer those marks over here. Four inch. Four inch. And we'll take those. Line those up. So close. Now I'm going to move it and shift it to where it's perfect. Uh, move it again. Get it a little bit tighter. I'm ready to bend it. Oh, it's tight. Okay, so now I have, uh, it just didn't quite get as much as I wanted. See how it's kind of got a little angle that way. It's not quite 90, so I'm gonna stick it back in. And, whoa! That wind is tricky. So I'm gonna stick it back in, bend it a little bit more, because that's the profile I want. I have one inch, 12 inch, four inches, but I wanna make sure I'm a little bit more than 90, a little bit smaller than 90 degree, so it presses against that piece that I want it to be nailed against. Nice and 
snug. Come up here. I'm bend it a little bit more. There we go. See that? See how it's angled back a little bit? That's what I want. It's a little bit less than 90. What that'll do is if I have a corner here, that'll press against that corner and it'll hold tight to that corner. Yeah, that's what I want. So now when I push it up against a square thing, it's going to press against that corner and not be out floppy. So there we go, folks. Now I have my profile. So there is how you bend coil stock on a brake. Remember to plan out your steps. If you have a piece that you have multiple steps on it and you can only get so far in here, you need to plan that out so you can have your multiple bends. Hey, thanks so much for watching, folks. Thanks for the view. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.